once upon a time, in a cosy house filled with laughter and love, lived a spirited little girl named Ellie. Ellie had a boundless imagination and a curiosity as vast as the sky. She loved adventures, especially those that took her to uncharted territories within her own home. One extraordinary day, while playing hide-and-seek with her cat, Whiskers, Ellie found herself shrinking suddenly, as if by magic. She was no bigger than a spool of thread. With a surprised gasp, she slipped between the cushions of the sofa and fell into the crack, landing softly on a pile of forgotten pocket lint. To Ellie's amazement, she had discovered a hidden world beneath the sofa, a place where pocket lint people bustled about their day, building homes from lost earrings, fashioning gardens from forgotten flower petals, and sailing on boats made from old stamps. This was a city of lost things, where every discarded item found a second home. The pocket lint people, with their clothes stitched from snippets of fabric and hats crafted from bits of ribbon, welcomed Ellie with open arms. They introduced her to their way of life, showing her how they transformed Ellie's lost pencils into skyscrapers and misplaced marbles into glowing street lamps. Ellie was enchanted. She danced at a party held in her honour on a dance floor made of discarded CDs, reflecting dazzling lights. She rode on the back of a toy car, now a noble steed for the Lint people, and helped harvest cotton from the top of Q-tips in the fields. But as much fun as she was having, Ellie began to miss her family and the world she knew. Seeing her sadness, the pocket lint people gathered around her, sharing their wisdom. They taught her that nothing is ever truly lost and that even the smallest items can bring joy and purpose. Determined to help Ellie return home, the pocket lint people devised a plan. Using a spring from a broken pen, they constructed a contraption that would help Ellie grow back to her original size. And with a chorus of cheers and a gentle nudge, Ellie was propelled out of the sofa crack, growing as she soared through the air, landing gracefully back in her living room. Back to her usual size. Ellie looked at the sofa with a smile, grateful for the adventure and the lessons learned. She began to drop little tokens of appreciation down the crack for her new friends. A shiny button here, a colourful paper clip there. Always listening for the soft thank you that floated up in response. Ellie's parents, puzzled by the soft voices coming from the sofa, could only marvel at Ellie's laughter and the sparkle in her eyes as she whispered secrets to the crack in the sofa. And so, dear listener, Ellie's unexpected journey beneath the sofa was not just an adventure but a journey of discovery and friendship. It taught her to see the value of little things, the importance of kindness, and the magic that exists right under our nose. Good night, little dreamer. 
may you drift off to sleep with dreams of magical worlds beneath your feet and awaken with the joy of finding wonder in the everyday. Remember, like Ellie, that adventure and friendship can be found in the most unexpected places. <laughs>